Time for baseball of the AAA variety as the show brings you coverage from the International League. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the Gwinnett Stripers and the Norfolk Tides. Now at the plate, Riley Unruh, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. A 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. To two balls and two strikes now. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees, our temperature at first pitch. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man is gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Coming to the plate now, Wendell Rijo, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Cisco shading to his right, two gone. Here's Yonder Alonzo. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Alonzo. Fouled away. The one two. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Stewart will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So coming to the plate, Richie Martin. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Line to the right side. But foul. I know that's the spot he didn't want to miss in, but he got away with it. Skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Brien will wait on it. And he puts it away for the first down. Settling in now, Mason Williams with 10 runs batted in on five hits in the series. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Stepping into the box, D.J. Stewart. He's had 14 at-bats in the series, picking up four base hits. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now, three and two. I don't even think I need to look in the dugout on this one. I think it's safe to assume he's going to be running. Too good a hitter at the plate not to think he's going to put the ball in play. Pache is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. That'll bring in the versatile Pat Valaika. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Two and one. Williams is off of first with two away. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That misses, and it's going to set up a big pitch now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Nope. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Into the box now, Stevie Wilkerson. He's been productive at the plate in the series with six hits coming into this one. 
Strike two taken. The fastball that clips the inside black. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Cedric Mullins would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now a ball lined to the left side, but foul. Here's the payoff pitch. And another foul ball. Count remains full. The payoff pitch. Back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Now at the play, Peter O'Brien. He'll get us started in the top of the second. One one. That's a ball. Count the two and one. Popped him up. Martin is there for it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in now, Yon Herbus Solarte as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here. More of a comfortable side from the left side. Puts the ball in play, more of a contact hitter from the left side. Might have grown up being a natural left handed hitter. Just inside, not by much. It's two and two. Weak rounder back to the mound. And there's out number two. So here's Johan Camargo. He went deep in the contest last night. Camargo. Shin high fastball that time. Ball three. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. A swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, look at the dive. What an outstanding play to end the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Cedric Mullins. The 1-1 one -one home. Smoke the other way. High and deep to left. A leap, but this is out of reach and off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. In now, Ryan Mountcastle. Fastball laid off well below the knees. little pop up off toward the first base side there to take it as Alonzo one away now in the box chance Cisco here now the 2 2 of the second here with no score. Just out in front of that one still two and two. As a look now the pitch. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike and that's the second out of the inning. 
Stepping into the box, Willie Yan. For the series, he's three for 12. One and one. Here it is. Not the ideal location for a changeup up of the zone, but he got away with it. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Harris is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Trey Harris in 13 at bats in the series he's collected five base hits count still at one and two now here it comes bouncer to the left side throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third Standing in, Christian Pache. He comes into this one just two for 12 in the series to this point. The 1 1. Misses, ball two. Reined in, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So striding forward now, Alex Jackson. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Riding in once again, Richie Martin, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Line towards center field. But this is unfortunately right at him in center field as he takes it in for the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Mason Williams. He drew a walk his first time up. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Number 24. Stepping in now, DJ Stewart. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Going to be high two and two now. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Pat Valaika. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Now Ready for another chance. Stevie Wilkerson. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Swings through it for strike number two. I wouldn't be surprised if he used his aggressiveness against him right here. If you're going to get a swing outside the zone, 1-1. Might as well fish a little bit further. Sent on the ground out to second. A dive and he knocks it down. At the plate now, Cedric Mullins popped him up. Camargo over to his right. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. All set for the start of the fourth. So striding in, Riley Unroe. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. 
Team's been struggling. Here's a fly ball well hit. A ball that's carrying. But he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. The batter number two. Second base. Wendell Riho. So now to the plate. Wendell Riho hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder is on the run. He makes the catch. And tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. In now, Yonder Alonso. Yonder Alonso. To two balls and two strikes now. In the dirt and block behind the plate, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. At the plate, Peter O'Brien. He flew out in his last at bat. O'Brien. Skied into straightaway right. Stewart is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Striding into the box, Ryan Mountcastle. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Now the 2 1. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground a second. And a good throw gets him one gun. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two balls and two strikes. The count to Chance Cisco. Hit in the air out toward left. Left fielder giving chase. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now with the plate, Willie really Young flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 2 1. Hit softly on the ground to third. Camargo picks it up cleanly. Throw on to Alonzo, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Yonherba Solarte. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 1 1. This is on the ground over to first. He's right there, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Johan Camargo. One out, nobody on. Fly ball out toward right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now batter, right fielder, Ray Harris. Standing in now, Trey Harris. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Long run for the center fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Striding in, now Christian Pache. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Pache. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still 2 and 2. Here's the 2 and 2. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on 3 and 2 because. They don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it.
Ready for another shot now. Richie Martin. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. And the 2-1. Liner towards second. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three game so far. Now that the center fielder. Make that. Into the box now. Mason Williams. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Elion Leva will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. D.J. Stewart will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. The one-two. And there he goes towards second. And this one's in the dirt. Pitch is in the dirt and knocked down, and he'll make it into second easily with a stolen base. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off a plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. This is pulled into right. And that'll get by and on through towards the wall. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He pulls into second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. The designated hitter, number four, Pat Valaika. In now, Pat Valaika. And that misses two and one. One out and a runner on second base. And it misses three and one now. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Ready once again, Stevie Wilkerson. A hit in two tries for him so far. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. So digging in now, Cedric Mullins. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this one-run game, the pitch. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. And it's fouled away. The payoff pitch. And he struck him out. So he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Now batting, Alex Jackson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 1 1 home. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Outside and a full count, three and two. Great A-B up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Full count still. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Riley Unroe, he's one for two in this one. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two. And hey, this guy's done a better job than expected. He's made some bad pitches in the strike zone, but so far he hasn't gotten hurt by it. The two-two one more time. 
breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Low roller, and he barehands it. What a play. Into the box, Wendell Riho. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Wendell Riho. 1 and 1, here it comes. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Now back, the first baseman. Yonder to the plate now. Yonder Alonso fouled off. And he fouls this one off. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Digging in to try it again, Ryan Mountcastle. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. Ball three. Pulled high in the air out to left field. O'Brien is underneath this one. One gone. And that'll bring up the catcher, Chance Cisco. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1. One, one. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now at the plate, now Willie Yon. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit hard to short. He's got it. Throw on to Alonzo takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, Peter O'Brien, and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Uh, he did well to get a piece that time, and it'll stay two and two. And now pitch on the way. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Fouled away. Still three balls and two strikes. The eighth pitch of the at-bat. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Hunter Harvey will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Yon Herbis Solarte will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. Field it cleanly, and he'll just step on first here to take the shoe out. And the next in is Johan Camargo. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Weak roller right side. Only play will be the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Play Trey Harris as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. The set and the 2 1. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. He set the 2 2. Two outs here with a runner at third. in the air down the right field line and foul trying
And to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Get to third. Scooped up. And the throw is wide as it pulls the first baseman off the bag. Now batting. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Christian Pache. From the stretch. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. The one two is a breaking ball. They can't find the zone and it's even at two. The two two. Is a swing and a miss. That's Ladies strike three. With a traditional double So the lineup flips over and digging in. Richie Martin. He singled his last time up. Here it comes on one and one. Popped him up. And there's your first out of the inning. Stepping up now, Mason Williams. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The one-two. Pulled toward right center field. Here comes the right fielder. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Number 24. Digging in, DJ Stewart. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. The 2 1 home. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Brandon Klein will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 52. Ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in, Alex Jackson. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. Look like the fastball got away from him there. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. He throws him on the fastball there. Alex Jackson becomes the first out of the inning. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Here's the payoff pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Riding forward now is the D.H. Pat Valaika. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Standing in, Stevie Wilkerson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Wilkerson. A ball and two strikes now. back but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing and there are two away now now that digging in once again Cedric Mullins he got called out on strikes his last time through yeah pretty deflating at bat right there Matty not only for him but oh and he has some trouble with it and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning
Ready now, Gunder Alonso. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. And that'll bring up Peter O'Brien. No hits to this point. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he just couldn't keep that ball fair as it winds up a long foul ball. 2-2 pitch is fouled away. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Seared down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2-2. Two and two. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. Now that for the plate now is the designated hitter, Yon Herbis Solarte. He was a ground out victim last time up. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Klein is there to make the catch and the side is retired. of the inning now so stepping in Ryan Mountcastle it was a fly out for him in his last trip heading out towards shallow right Harris has to come in a few steps but he has it for route number one stepping in Chance Cisco it was a fly out for him in his last trip set here comes the 1 1 now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now oh and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out now digging in Willie really Yon he's hitless in three at bats to this point This one's down to third. Camargo brings it in. Throw on to Alonzo, takes care of him, and that ends the inning. Digging in, Johan Camargo. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Jan, stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now to the plate, Trey Harris. You could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. 3 and 2. Hit out towards second. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now back the center field. Christian Pache. At the plate now, Christian Pache. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now batting. Now with the plate, Alex Jackson. Alex. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. Here's the payoff pitch. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. now. Isaac Matson will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Riley Unro will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on the 3-1, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And that misses for ball four, 
So the potential go-ahead run moves over to third now. So a big moment in the ball game here. Wendell Rijo as he'll hit with the go-ahead run at third and two away. And it's one and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! It's a grand slam! So now to the plate, Yonder Alonso. And here's a fastball, not close as he runs it to two and one now. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Here now the two two. Hard liner to center field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. He's around first, heading for two. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Miguel Castro will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Now pitching for the tie, number 50, Miguel. Standing in now, Peter O'Brien. And he lays off for a ball, two and one going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. All even now, two and two. Four runs here in this half inning. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And this will bang up against the wall. It's a second now, but he's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to now score. Back. Designated hitter, Stepping in now, Jan Herbis Solarte. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw on to first will finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. Jacob Webb will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Leading off the inning, Richie Martin, and they'll need him to get something going here. One and one, here it comes. trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now three and two. Down the first baseline and that is past him at first it's a fair ball. In now, Mason Williams. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Got him. So coming to the plate, DJ Stewart. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone! Chris Russell enters the game here an inning later than usual as he'll try to close this one out in the 10th. At the plate, Pat Valaika. 
Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now back. Coming to the plate now, Stevie Wilkerson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back. On to first, and that'll be a bitter pill to swallow for this home crowd as the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. 6-3, to three, the final score today. Elian Leva claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. Please drive home safely.